On March 25, 1934, Horton Smith finishes the very first Masters Tournament, four under par, one stroke ahead of the runner-up, Craig Woods, to win the very first Masters Tournament. Here's a story about how the Masters all began, today on Daily Sports History. Welcome to Daily Sports History. I'm Ethan Reese, your guide to a rapid deep dive into sports history every day. Now to truly understand how we got to the Masters Tournament, we have to go back to 1930, when Bobby Jones, arguably the most famous golfer at the time, had retired, but had decided to build his own golf course in Augusta, Georgia. He wanted it to be a unique architectural golf course that also was in a location that was warm enough to be played year-round. And he found a location called the Fruitland Nurseries, which was a 365-acre property that was once an indigo plantation. Upon seeing the property, Jones said it was perfect, and they began construction in 1931, and they opened the golf course in December of 1932, making it a members-only golf course. Jones decided he wanted to hold a tournament, but at the time it was not called the Masters Tournament. It was called the Augusta National Invitation Tournament, but they would change the name to the Masters in 1939, due to many in the PGA Tournament wanting a more simple name, and Jones finally agreed. And one of the things they decided to do differently in this tournament was to play four days on the 18-hole course instead of playing two days of 18 holes and on the third day playing 36 holes, and eliminating the qualifying round, and also roping off the fairways to keep spectators out of the playing area. And they were able to provide a pairing sheet and spectator booklet for the spectators, giving it more of the feel that we have today. Now, what is also important about this first Masters is Bobby Jones, still arguably the most famous golfer in the world came out of retirement just to play in this tournament. And though Horton Smith was battling for the lead throughout the whole tournament, Bobby Jones was the one getting all the attention, even though he finished with a plus four tied for 13th. But Jones would continue to play in this one tournament through the rest of his career, but never winning his own Masters tournament. And beginning in 1940, they decided to move the the tournament to the first week of April, where it has stood ever since. Now, one of the most famous things about the Masters is award or trophy. Now, there is an actual trophy that many always often forget about, but we always remember the Green Jacket. And the Green Jacket didn't happen until 1949. It was a concept that had actually been at the course previously. When they first opened the course, Members were given a green jacket to help the staff know who was a member and who was a guest. It also was very helpful for tournaments. Members could wear their jackets and help spectators that were visiting know they could ask people in green jackets questions about the course. They later did away with these green jackets for members because they were thick, heavy, made of wool, and down in Georgia during the summer months was not very comfortable. But these green jackets really stood out, and so they used them as part of the tradition of the Masters starting in 1949. And they went back and gave every previous winner a jacket as well. And for the 1934 Masters featured 72 players with a total prize winnings of $5,000, and the winner, Horton Smith, won $1,500, which is roughly $33,000 today. And Horton led after each round. First round, he had two under. Finished the second round, still at two under. Third, he was four under. And the final round. And on the 17th hole, he sank a 20-foot putt to birdie, giving him the lead over Craig Woods, winning with a score of four under par, beating Craig Wood by one stroke. And two years later, Horton would win the tournament again, becoming the first two-time winner of the tournament. 
Today, the Masters is arguably the most famous tournament, the most famous golf tournament in the world, with over $3 million in winnings at the 2023 Masters, and changed the game of golf and how tournaments are ran to this day. Thank you for listening to Daily Sports History. If you like this, please follow or subscribe wherever you're listening. We want you to join our community. And when you do that, make sure you don't miss any episodes because we'll be back tomorrow with more Daily Sports History.